Hi, this is Terry Couty, founder and director of Deep Sea Foundation. I'm very honored to continue a discussion today with Dr. James Craigie, and he is with the Center for Natural Breast Reconstruction in Charleston, South Carolina. Welcome to the uh, Foundation uh, video, and I have a question for you, Dr. Craigie, yes. a couple of questions. Uh, as a follow-up to a video that we did on restoring sensation to the breast. Some women ask me the question, and I'm going to let you answer. I already had deep flap. They say, Terry, I already had deep flap. I didn't have that process done to restore sensation during my deep flap. Can I do it now? Very good question. Um, the, what we understand and what we do now to um, reconstruct the nerves, unfortunately, has to be done at the time of the deep flap. Yes. It can be done with other flaps. Mm -hmm. uh, and so if someone uh, had more than one flap or had uh, one flap had to be removed and they had a second reconstruction, mm -hmm. it, it's possible. But once the flap has been done, you can't go back and just put the nerve in. Yeah. The nerve has to come with the vascularized healthy tissue that you make the new breast with. Yeah. Good, good answer. Mm -hmm. I wanted the viewers to hear that from the specialist. Um... Another question, can it be done if you're using implants? Uh, technically, no, Yeah. because uh, with an implant reconstruction, the implant, which is not living tissue, is taking on uh, the form of the new breast, and so there is no nerve within the implant, uh, and therefore you can't connect. There's nothing to connect to. Yeah. Um, and also the body reacts to the implant with a capsule and a scar yeah. uh, and that may also impede some nerves coming in from the side. Mm -hmm. So certainly um, women who go through mastectomy and reconstruction with implants, certainly after mastectomy a uh, patient needs to understand that their will, the sensation will not be normal mm -hmm. uh, and um, the goal being with a, what we call a neurotized flap is to restore protective sensation, mm -hmm. light touch sensation. So people, you can feel uh, and you, you, people won't injure themselves. Mm -hmm. Things can happen if you can't feel. Yes. Uh, not to mention all the other issues with yeah. sensation. Very good answer. I'm glad that, 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 that I can present that from the experts. So, we talked about restoring sensation, and I know that there are times when a patient has enough of length in, in the nerves that need to be anastomosized. Did I say that word right? Yes, okay, anastomosis. good. Um, sometimes they don't. And you have to use something called a nerve graph, which we didn't touch on a lot in the last video. So I have two questions for you, and I'm just going to let you roll with this. I understand about the nerve graph, but I want you to explain that to our audience. But secondly, I think as a patient, what I'm very excited about hearing from you is that there's a current registry that is collecting data about you know, how basically how are these turning out? What's the patient satisfaction as well? I know that's a very complex thing to do, but can you speak to us about both of those, the nerve graph and then the registry? Sure. And I'm going to let you roll. Sure. Thank yes. you. Um, there's a lot of variability in, in uh, the anatomy of nerves. Mm -hmm. um, when, so what the first question, tell me again. The, the first one was, you know, I didn't even, I don't think I asked you that question. Oh, the nerve graph. Yes, the, the nerve graph. why you have to use it sometimes. Correct. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So anytime an, a nerve is injured or divided or you're performing a reconstruction, mm -hmm. you want to uh, reconnect a nerve or repair an injury to a nerve. Mm -hmm. uh, just like any other part of the body that heals by scarring, uh, nerves, if they're repaired, can regenerate across the area that where they were divided. Mm -hmm. And so one nerve from one part of the body can be connected to the stump of another. And if things go just right, the axons or the part of the nerve as it heals will grow across that connection that the surgeon made where they restored the ends of the nerve. That is the best way to repair a nerve. Yeah. 
Now, that is not always possible. There's many variations mm -hmm. in what can happen and how nerves can get injured. And so the important thing is the nerve connection is done precisely and that there's not tension on it. Well, in breast reconstruction, we can't always have two ends of a nerve that reach each other. Sure. Uh, and Makes can sense. be successfully connected because of the tissue and the breast and, and, and other factors. Mm -hmm. So when we can't repair them primarily, then we want to bridge that gap. And so what we're working on is determining well, what is the best way to, to bridge that gap and what is the best way to restore sensation by reconnecting nerves when we use autologous tissue. Mm -hmm. So we use a, we are currently using an, what's called an allograft, which is a nerve that's sensory, that is prepared from a cadaver. Okay. Uh, and there are no human elements that are taken out of it. Mm -hmm. It's the structure and the framework through which the nerve can grow. Okay. So it, essentially that allows us to connect the two ends of the nerves, one from the new breast, one to the uh, trunk of what was going to the breast mm -hmm. uh, and essentially almost all the patients mm -hmm. when we can't do it primarily mm -hmm. and so there's a lot to work out for that mm -hmm. and so it's it's a quite a task to then evaluate the results because oh, I can there's imagine. so many different ways to connect the nerve so many different scenarios and it takes about a year for the sensation to be re to be restored okay. so it's a gradual process and so our, our registry uh, the next part of the question was uh, what were a group of uh, uh, centers throughout the country where uh, we, uh, my practice participates in it. Uh, we're using all of our, um, uh, we're, we're compiling our data, data and our results uh, and using that and evaluating it to determine what is the best way to, to reconstruct these nerves, uh, what techniques result in more sensation, what techniques result in faster uh, return of mm -hmm. sensation and so there's lots of different ways and so we're uh, a large group of us are participating and we just uh, a completed kind of a phase of the, of the trial but we plan to continue and there's uh, right now over 13 centers participating 13 centers across, across the US the that's really good to know I so that data collection is so important because like you said there are so many variabilities. Yes. So collecting the data, you're, you're going to hit on all of the, uh, I don't want to say anomalies, but the differences, I guess, in what you have to deal with and how to improve those. That's a whole idea of the registry. Correct. That's yeah. the idea. Okay. Excellent information. Oh, I learned a lot today. Thanks so much well, for your my time. Pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks all for right. having me. Absolutely.